Hello everyone and welcome to another Cult Live workout for a strength workout. I am Nitish Balal. I'm going to be your coach today for the dumbbell only chest, triceps and ab workouts. Let's get started. I hope you have your water bottle, your hand towel, your workout mat and a pair of dumbbells ready to get started with the workout. We're going to be focusing on chest, triceps and abs. We're going to go through a warm up to make sure that your joints are warmed up nice and easy. Your body is free from all the stiffness that you've been carrying around for a while and then we are ready to hit three different tabata workouts in the movement in the in the workout today so let's get started the first movement for the warm up is going to be an inchworm to a scapula push up so for an inchworm what i want you to do is stand on the edge of the mat get your feet as wide as your hips or between hips and shoulders just bend down reach for the reach for the mat slowly crawl down to a high plank once you get to the high plank just do a scapula push up let your shoulders retract down press back up and come all the way back okay we're going to do this for 45 seconds and then rest for 15 seconds all right let's go if you find it difficult you can get your feet wider as well palms on the ground inchworm slowly scapula push up and then back all the way back stand up straight go back down crawl scapula push up and then back nice and simple simple right let's keep going down crawl scapula push up and back we're almost halfway through keep moving nice and slow feel it in your shoulders feel it in your triceps feel it in your hamstrings go there this is to warm your scapula and your shoulders nice and simple okay 45 seconds done take a 15 second break while you're doing that just watch the next movement for your warm up you get down on your knees okay you're going to stretch your arms forward bend down get into a prayer position from there keep the elbows on the ground slowly get your arms back on your neck and try and press the elbows down keep breathing you're going to hold this for 45 seconds once again all right this is going to help you open up your lats and your thoracic spine so that whenever you're doing your push ups you don't feel any stiffness around this area as well as it's going to open up your lats completely and it's also going to help you in your tricep movements today so just hold there keep breathing with every exhale try and press your chest down and you'll feel a good stretch in your lats just keep moving yes 15 more seconds guys come on make sure you keep breathing keep breathing keep breathing throughout the stretch hold it feel your thoracic spine open up feel your lats free up and 5 4 3 2 one and rest 15 second break get back up now the next movement is going to be something called a side to side you're going to lie down just near your mat from there you're going to open your palms wide open so that when you get one shoulder down to the floor the elbow is above your palms okay we call this side to side this movement is going to help us stretch our pecs and our shoulder joint while we open get to this position again 45 seconds work 15 seconds rest ready and we are going to touch one shoulder to the floor come back up touch the other floor to the shoulder sh shoulder to the floor and come back up ready and go touch the shoulder to the floor come back up touch the shoulder to the floor come back up nice and slow feel that stretch in your pecs feel that stretch in your shoulder and keep moving for 15 seconds 45 seconds nice and simple i can feel my shoulder joints stretching <clears throat> keep going keep going good going guys 30 seconds up 15 more seconds to go last few reps and 3 2 1 and rest excellent that was our third movement For the fourth movement we are going to get back to child's pose 
okay again we want to stretch our lats as well as possible because whenever we want to press we want the lats to be free whenever we want to extend our triceps we want the lats to be free we don't want the lats to hold ourselves so that we are crunching or say over extending whenever we do a tricep extension so the next mobility exercise or warm up movement that we are going to do is basically called the child's pose reach off okay so you're going to get into a child's pose from here what you're going to do is you're going to slowly crawl to the right as far as you can and then you're going to slowly crawl to the left as far as you can and you keep doing this till you reach the end point where you feel a nice stretch in your lats on both sides we do it for 45 seconds and then rest for 15 seconds all right let's get started and three two one go scroll to the right stretch hold for a second and crawl to the left keep crawling to the left hold for a second back to the center that's one rep keep moving again while you reach the end point make sure your lats are stretching enough come back to the center move to the left stretch hold slowly get back to the center keep moving nice job guys make sure you feel that stretch in your body so that you are ready for the workout on to the left hold it and back that's it 45 seconds so these were the four movements that we are doing for the warm up today what we are going to do we are going to do one more round of each of these and we are going to ready we are going to be ready and done with the warm up and ready for our workout all right we're going to start off with the first movement once again inchworm to scapula push up right go down palms on the floor slowly crawl forward make sure you don't move your hips left and right while you do this hips are stagnant go to a high plank scapula push up and back the trick to be able to do this effortlessly is the moment you reach down try and squeeze your butt keep your knees locked out and try and only put your weight on the palms keep your back straight and parallel to the floor scapula push up and back keep moving guys okay that's 30 seconds let's try and get two more reps scapula push up back all the way up and last rep scapula push up and back excellent 45 seconds take a 15 second break and we're going to move on to armless prayer okay for that we're going to go down reach for your arms all the way forward get your forehead as low as possible get your elbows down on the floor get your arms onto your neck and the time begins hold it keep breathing inhale every time you exhale try and get the chest slightly lower try and press the elbows onto the ground feel the thoracic spine opening and feel your lats stretching that's going to help you a lot in the workout that's going to come up okay if you feel it's going to get slightly easier try and push your elbow slightly forward and repeat the same thing exhale and stretch exhale and stretch mind you yes excellent guys keep moving keep moving and three two one and rest 15 second break and we get ready for the next warm-up movement side to side get back on your knees reach for your arms palms on the floor wide enough that the elbows are above your wrists right and go shoulder to the floor back to the center shoulder to the floor back to the center shoulder to the floor back to the center keep moving feel that stretch feel that stretch in your pec feel that stretch in your shoulders this is a great way to get your body prepped up for any pressing movement especially when you're doing any kind of chest movements yes keep moving we are halfway through 15 more seconds nice and simple don't try and overdo it move at a normal pace this is good enough for your warm up and 5 4 3 2 1 and rest okay the last warm up movement for today's warm up session is going to be your child's pose reach out for that you're going to get down into your 
on your knees reach for your arms forward let the hips be as low as possible from this position we are going to move all the way to the right and then to the left ready and go crawl to the right reach out feel that stretch in your lats come back to the center reach out on the left again feel that stretch in your lats slowly come back and keep doing that every time you reach the end point exhale come back inhale go back to the left exhale keep repeating that for 45 seconds 30 seconds up last 10 more to go and back go to the far left exhale and back to the center excellent job guys that's the end of the warm up for today's session everybody can go back just wipe that sweat off i am already charged up for the workout i feel nice and warm along with that have a sip of water if you want to make sure that you keep yourself hydrated during the workout our muscles are made up of 70% of water so the more water you drink the muscles are going to recover that much better so every time make sure you have a small sip of water whenever you feel thirsty or you feel like you need a small break okay now for the workout we get ready so basically like i said we are going to be doing chest triceps and abs today we split it down into three different tabatas tabata is basically an interval training where you have eight rounds of 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest so let me take you through the movements i'll take you through all the six movements that we'll be using in the three tabatas today and then we'll go through each tabata one by one we'll get a 90 second break between each of these tabatas okay For the first tabata, we're going to be doing something called a dumbbell floor press, and we're going to be doing it unilaterally. What does unilateral mean? Using only one of the two limbs that you have. If you use just single arm for any kind of movement, while you can do it with both arms. If you do it with both arms, it's called uh, bilateral. If you do it with just one arm, we're going to be calling it single unilateral. So you're going to get a dumbbell. Lie down on the floor. Keep your feet folded in. Just a second. Yes. Keep your feet folded in in a natural relaxed position. From here, you are going to press the dumbbell all the way up. Now, ideally, if there was a specific type of dumbbell press, you would have held the dumbbell either in a supinated position or a pronated position. Here, I want you to start in a way where the elbows are pointing behind towards your the direction where your head is pointing. Okay, from here, you are going to keep the shoulders as close to the floor as possible. Don't over press the shoulder. Let the shoulders stay as close to the ground as possible, preferably in contact with the ground. From there, you are going to start lowering the dumbbell. While you lower, twist it inwards. Let the elbows touch the floor, and then press back up. While you press, twist it just like I did. If it is too difficult, you can keep it in a normal grip. Just go down and press. Okay. But those who can, make sure you go down all the way down, and then press it up all the way down, and then press it up and twist. Okay. What we are going to do is we are going to try five reps on our right arm, five reps on our left arm. Okay, let's go. Everybody, grab your dumbbell. Let the dumbbell be at the bottom and press. Remember, exhale while you press. Inhale while you lower. Two. Inhale, exhale while you press. Three. Inhale and exhale. Four. Inhale. and exhale five excellent now move the same dumbbell to the opposite arm and repeat make sure you exhale at the top inhale at the bottom two while you lower and press make sure your shoulders are still as close to the ground as possible three four and five excellent okay That was your first movement, dumbbell floor press. This is the movement that we are going to be doing in the first tabata. Now, take a small break. Watch the second two, next two movements for the second tabata. We are doing something called a dumbbell tricep extension. You are going to be kneeling down on your knees. Get one dumbbell in one arm. Get it overhead. You can keep the other arm either on your belly to make sure you are breathing right, or you can take it back. However, you feel comfortable. From there. you are going to make sure that you bend the elbow without moving your upper arm and then press back up 
lower it down press back up okay the same thing we're going to repeating with the other arm as well just for trial purpose grab a dumbbell preferably a light one and give me five dumbbell extensions on the right arm five dumbbell extensions on the left arm okay let's get started okay all the way up remember while you lower it down inhale exhale when you press inhale exhale three four five and then repeat the same with the opposite arm all the way up Three. Inhale on the way down and exhale on the way up. Five. Okay. This was the second set of movements that we'll be using for our second Tabata dumbbell tricep extension. Again, we are going to be doing unilateral movements. Odd move, odd, odd interval. We are going to be using one arm. Even interval, we are going to be using the other arm. But not to worry about that. I'll repeat that once again when we start with the actual Tabata. Now let's go on to the third Tabata where we are going to be using two different movements. One, the first movement that we are going to be using for the third Tabata is called a dumbbell fly. Again, with a small twist, what we are going to do is you are going to be lying down, nice and simple on the mat. Get the dumbbells to the top. What you are going to do is you are going to lower the dumbbell in a way that your elbows are locked at an angle. Elbows touch the floor. From there, go up. While you go up, make sure that the dumbbells touch in a way that your wrist and your elbows are pointing backwards, just like we did in the. Floor press from there again. Slowly tilt it outside and then twist when you go up. Okay, let's try five reps of the dumbbell flies. Everybody grab both the dumbbells. This is a bilateral movement for today. We're going to get the dumbbells all the way up. Make sure the dumbbell heads touch each other. Elbow pits are pointing backwards. From there, we are going to go five reps. Okay, remember inhale while you go down, exhale while you go up. Inhale, exhale on the way up. One. Exhale on the way up. Two, three, four, five. This is the first movement of your third Tabata. And for the last movement of the third Tabata, what we are going to do is something called a hollow rock. For the hollow rock, you are going to be lying down on the floor. Arms and legs extended completely. From here, what you want to do is you want to form a boat-shaped structure. For that, you're going to go up slowly, legs straight, arms up. It should look like a boat. Your lower body is in contact with the floor. Arms up and locked, feet pointed forward, knees locked. If this is too difficult and challenging for you, what you can do is decrease one lever, get one knee close to the body. This makes it slightly easier. and you can keep switching between these knees in every interval if this too is extremely challenging what you can do is get both the knees close to the floor lower back in contact with the floor arms pointed towards the toes and hold this position this is also something that you can do instead of your hollow rocks okay i want everyone to try the variations hold it for 10 seconds and then see for yourself all right let's do it once again everyone get ready we are going to hold 5 seconds of each okay first we are going to go all the way to the tuck rocks pull the knees close to your chest point the arms towards your toes and hold it for 5 seconds 5 4 3 2 1 now slowly get one leg out get both your arms up hold it for 5 seconds 5 4 3 2 1 and then slowly get the other leg out and see if you can hold this 5 4 3 2 one and rest excellent job guys so we know all the movements of the workout today we are going to get started with the first tabata which is going to be our dumbbell floor press i give you a small break wipe that sweat off your face have some water and then we get started right away Remember the movements are very simple for the first abata we are going to be doing dumbbell floor press on one arm on the odd interval on the other arm on the even interval 
You're going to be doing eight intervals of 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Try and make sure that you feel the mind muscle connection. Make sure all the points of performance are met, shoulders pulled behind and then squeeze your chest whenever you do the rep so that you get the maximum out of this entire tabata. All right, let's get started. Lie down, get to your position. Remember, for the entire four minutes, you're going to be lying down. So you don't have to be in a hurry. Make sure every single rep and every single breath counts. Okay, I'm going to grab my dumbbell, lie down on the floor, get started. And can we have the Tabata clock ready? Yes. Okay. And starting in three, two, one, go. Okay. Press. Exhale while you press. Keep going. Last five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Rest for 10 seconds. Okay, and now we repeat the same thing on the opposite arm in two, one, and go. Make sure the elbows touch the ground. And three, two, one, and rest. Excellent job, guys. Yes, that's two rounds up. And we now go on to the other side once again, back to our odd interval, the third round and go. Make sure you twist the dumbbell like I decided in the beginning. If you can't, it's okay to just press with normal neutral grip. Keep going for 20 seconds. Squeeze and feel your pecs work. And three, two, one and switch. Excellent. 10 seconds break. Okay, make sure your shoulders are in contact with the floor or close to the floor throughout the movement. For round four begins now. Press. Inhale. Press. Inhale. Press. Inhale. Press. Inhale. Press. Excellent. And three, two, one, and rest. Good job, guys. Halfway through, four rounds are up and we are going to go ahead with round five with our odd interval with the right hand or left, whichever you're going and go. Press. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six and done okay 10 second break there was seven reps the idea is to hit the same number of reps in every work interval of the tabata and let's go seven, sixth round keep pushing through keep pushing through if the weight is getting heavier go for a lighter dumbbell and three two one and rest excellent last 10 seconds we are left with one one movement each i'm going to go heavier because 10 kgs feels a little light and let's go keep moving remember it's about the muscles that are getting involved not about how many reps you do okay and one more okay that's the end for my right arm last interval begins in three two one and go keep going inhale on the way down exhale on the way up and one more rep excellent guys that's the end of tabata one and it's now time to rest for 90 seconds okay take a break for 90 seconds and then we get back on the floor with dumbbell tricep extensions for our second tabata now that you have these 90 seconds make sure you have a sip of water wipe that sweat off your face 
and try and gather as many breaths as possible so that you want to be nice and ready for the next two tabatas. Also notice one thing, now that you are doing unilateral movements, you will notice that there, it also challenges you a lot in terms of your stability. Every time you just use one dumbbell, your strength does not just go into pressing the movement up and down or say pulling the movement, it also has to be about how do you balance the dumbbell while you are moving it. So unilateral movements are a great way to train for stability, balance and coordination as well. So that is an additional benefit of having dumbbell movements and training using dumbbells. Okay? Now, just as we discussed, the next Tabata is going to be about dumbbell tricep extensions. Simple, if you feel the dumbbells are heavy, you can go for a lighter dumbbell. If you do not have a lighter dumbbell, what you can do is you can go for all the 8 reps using just a single dumbbell, hold it up with both arms, lower it down and take it back up. If you have a dumbbell that you can manage with just one arm, grab a dumbbell, use right arm on the odd interval, left arm on the even interval and just in case that tries and starts getting heavy, what you can do is while you lower it down and you want to press it up, use two fingers to press the forearm up so that you can support your arm. Okay? But make sure no moving the elbows away from the body, no stretching your back either. Okay? We kind of overshot our rest time, let us get started. Okay, remember 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest, 8 rounds alternate on the left and right arm every interval. Overhead and go. Lower it down, exhale on the way up. 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 In three, two, one, and rest. Excellent, guys. Again, on this one, you'll feel a lot of strain on your shoulders as well, but try and make sure to keep it straight and move only via the elbow. Okay? Starting on the left arm and go. Exhale on the way up. You see how my elbows are fixed there, only moving through my triceps? Focus on that. If you are not able to do this, probably the weight is heavier. Try and support using your fingers. But if that is something you want to do right now, and stop. It's too heavy for the entire Tabata. Lower the weight. If not, grab a dumbbell with both your arms and go ahead. Okay. 10 seconds are up. On to your right arm. Okay. 5 more seconds. And 3, 2, 1 and rest. Excellent. Okay, this one's going to be quick and fast and it's going to burn your triceps a lot. Just keep staying there, hang in there and get those reps done. Okay, and on to your next arm. Ten seconds up. Okay, three, two, one and rest. Okay, see that? Halfway through, two minutes are done, four intervals are done, four more to go to each side. Okay, and we begin in three, two, one, and go. All the way down, press back up. 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 And three, two, one, and rest. Excellent. Okay, that's another five seconds of rest, which is almost ending and moving on to the other side. Okay, down, up. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. Okay, 10 more seconds. And three, two, one, and rest. Excellent. Okay, we are left with two more rounds. Make these two rounds count. One arm on one round and the other arm on the other round. Okay, the last one. Make sure these final reps count. Okay, as controlled as you can. Okay, keep moving, keep moving. Five more seconds. And three, two, one, 
and rest. Okay, that one was a bit challenging. Let's get ready. In three, two, one, and go. Exhale on the way up, always. Make sure your ribs don't pop up open. 10 more seconds guys, 10 more seconds. That's it, you got this. In three, two, one, and I'm gonna steal one more rep in that. Excellent, okay. That's the end of another Tabata. You get to rest for another 90 seconds. Use this well, wipe that sweat off, have some water, and then we're gonna begin with the third Tabata soon. Okay, now, now that we've worked on our chest and triceps, the flies and hollow rocks are gonna feel more difficult because one, you're already eight minutes into the workout. Two, even though you don't train your core directly when you're doing other movements, indirectly the core is still being trained. So every time you're going to hold a hollow rock for 20 seconds, it's going to feel like much longer, okay? And your chest is tired from all the floor press, so your dumbbell flies are going to feel more challenging because dumbbell flies only use the pectoral muscles and no other supporting muscles. Whereas your dumbbell floor press will also use your triceps shoulders to some extent but in the flies only your pecs are going to get used so it's going to feel much more burning as you did while you did during the warm-up okay i hope we remember all the movements dumbbell flies lying down on the floor with two dumbbells and after that we're going to be doing hollow rocks okay we still have 30 seconds just make sure your setup is fine uh, you have everything in place you can move around everything is good before that just make sure so that we can get started with the Tabata as soon as the rest ends. All right. Remember, twist it outwards as you go up, twist it inwards as you go down. Okay. 10 seconds. Get ready. Lie down. Dumbbells head touching each other and go. First interval. Remember, exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Okay. Good job, guys. And three, two, one, and rest. Okay. Now, from here, remember, we spoke about hollow rocks. You're going to find your alternative, whichever, meets, whichever seems doable for you. Okay, and go. 20 seconds, come on. Hold it there. It's going to be challenging, but keep breathing, keep breathing. Excellent, 10 seconds up. The more you're going to hold, the more is going to help you. Three, two, one, and rest. Remember, hollow rocks for 20 seconds was more challenging than it, it was while I was warming up. I'm going to look at how I feel and change my movements as and when I go forward. Okay, moving on to the second round. Dumbbell flies and go. Excellent. All the way down and press back up. All the way down, press back up. All the way down, press back up. All the way down, press back up and rest. Excellent. Take a small 10 second break and we're going to move on to our hollow rocks. Okay. And we begin in three, two, one and go. Hold. Keep breathing. If it's getting difficult, remember you can fold the knee back in to make the difficulty slightly more easier and it's going to be easier to manage and hold this. Okay. And three, two, one and rest. Excellent job guys. Halfway through 10 second break and then we move on to our flies. We begin in three, two, one and go. Lower it down. Exhale on the top and remember don't push your shoulder blades way too forward. Let the shoulder blades remain as close to the body as possible and rest. Excellent. That's round five. We've got three more rounds to go. Just get ready in three, two, one and go. Remember, just get your arms up, toes pointed. If you feel you can get both the legs out, great. If not, 
fold one lever down and use it to hold your hollow rock. Okay, just hold there. Nice. And three, two, one, and rest. I started off with my hollow hold. As and I'm pro as and when I'm progressing, I'm slowly reducing the lever. Even with one leg folded, it's equally challenging right now. Okay, and we move on to our next round. Last round of the dumbbell flies. Exhale on the top. Inhale at the bottom. And rest. Excellent. Okay, now this is going to be our last round. And we begin in three, two, one, and go. This is the last 20 seconds, so make them count. Okay, we are left with three, two, one, and rest. Okay, it's been an amazing workout. I'm sure everybody is going up high with their heart rate. So just to get your heart rate down, I want you to join your feet together, sit down cross-legged, and just close your eyes, and give me 10 breaths in a fashion where you're going to take three seconds to breathe in, hold that breath for three seconds and then three seconds to breathe out, okay? That's going to help you get down the heart rate lower in a much controlled fashion, all right? Three seconds, inhale. Hold for three seconds. Three seconds, exhale. Repeat that for 10 times. Inhale. Hold for three seconds. Exhale. That's five times, five more times to go. Inhale. Hold for three seconds. Exhale. Last three. Exhale. Inhale in three. Exhale in three. Hold for three, two, one. Exhale. Last time. Inhale. Three, two, one. Hold. And slowly exhale. Excellent job guys, as you can see, I'm completely drenched in sweat. Take a moment, just wipe that sweat off. Have some water, you just finished an amazing chest, triceps and abs workout. I'm sure you're feeling it in your pecs, triceps as well as your core. Let's just get the equipment aside a little bit. We want to have a nice good stretch at the end so that our body thanks us for all the work we've been putting in to keep it healthy and fit. All right, okay, now. For the first stretch, for the lying pec stretch, what we are going to do is, I'm just going to open this up a little bit so that I'm more clear. You're going to lie down on your chest, nice and simple, okay? You're going to open your arms wide open. From there, you're going to pull one arm in as if you're going to do a push-up, okay? From there, you're going to raise your leg up and over across once you reach the foot on the other side just press this out so that you feel a good stretch in your opposite pec okay and you're going to hold this for 30 seconds each side and go while you do this make sure you're breathing nice and simple in a controlled way it should not be extremely difficult to breathe every time you exhale try and press the arm a slightly more that's going to help you with your stretch okay I can feel the stretch in my deltoid shoulders as well as my pecs. Okay, and we are left with five more seconds. Three, two, one, and switch. Okay, 
We're going to move on to the other side. Raise your arm up and stretch, hold. One, two, keep going. Focus on breathing. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Slowly get your legs back. Feel a nice stretch in both your pecs. The next stretch is going to be something called an armless puppy dog. Okay, we all know what a puppy dog is. Puppy dog is basically getting your arms all the way forward, keeping your hips above your knees and going down onto the floor like that, right? From here, armless puppy dog is basically when you get your elbows down on the floor, get your arms back, hips above your knees and then try and get your chest down to the floor. We're going to hold this for 30 seconds and go. Again, keep breathing, try and open up your chest. Feel that tricep open up, feel your lats stretch, hold this position, it's an amazing stretch for your upper back. Okay, keep moving, hold that stretch and 3, 2, 1 and rest. Excellent. We've done with two stretches, we're left with two more. For the next stretch, simple one, seated tricep stretch, you're going to take one arm up, bend across the elbow, pull this elbow backwards and hold that stretch for 30 seconds. Nice and simple stretch for your triceps, we've done a bunch of tricep extensions, we've also done some floor presses that also activates our triceps, so you want to stretch them nice and simple. Again, like I said, stretching is extremely important because it promotes more blood flow into your muscles. The more blood flows into your muscles, it helps them recover. Remember, your muscles don't grow while you train them or break them down during the workout. It actually happens while you help them recover. Switch arms onto the other side. Again, feel a good stretch in your tricep. Like I was saying, your recovery is as important as your workout, your hydration is as important as your workout, your nutrition is as important as your workout. Uh, all these things help your muscles to recover and eventually grow. Uh, muscles are not made, yes they are made in the gym or while you work out, but the actual result comes from when they recover. So make sure you focus on your recovery, nutrition, hydration as well. Okay. The last stretch is going to be something to open up our deltoids and our pecs. So I want you to interlock your fingers behind your back first. Okay, something like this. From here, you want to first roll your shoulders back so that your shoulders are in the right socket. Once you reach that position, just raise your arms up as high as you can. That's going to feel a good stretch in your pecs. Okay, and we're going to hold this for 30 seconds. Hold it. And this stretch is also going to help you a lot with your posture because this helps you pull your shoulders back as much as you can and have a more vertical posture okay just hold this we're almost there 20 seconds up last 10 to go i still seem to be sweating i hope you enjoyed the workout too guys and rest excellent okay let me just wipe that sweat sweat off Okay, uh, just to recap once again, we did a chest, tricep and abs workout using dumbbells. Uh, we did three Tabatas, did a nice warm up. I took you through some cool down workouts, cool down movements as well. Uh, thank you very much for joining in. I definitely had a great time working out with all you guys. I hope you did too. Uh, you can, if you post any of your workout selfies, do tag us at the red cult official on your Insta handles and also make sure that you post on the Facebook community page, which is Stronger Together with CultFit, okay? Uh, I hope you take care of your nutrition, your hydration, eat well, recover well, sleep well, and I'll see you guys once again on the other side with another strength workout with Cult Life. Before we leave, we all know what the ritual is. We're going to shout on the count of three, two, one. We're going to say, we are cult. 
and just because we did a chest and triceps workout, we're going to flex our chest and triceps to show that we did. Okay? How do you chest? How do you flex your chest and triceps? Imagine there are two ropes here. Okay? Pull it as hard as you can and join them together. That's your flex for your chest. All right? Everyone, on my command. Ready? Three, two, one. We are cult. such workout videos download the Calfit app now also don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel we are cult